Hello. Welcome to another Linux install fest here in Central Florida. Uh, we're in Winter Park, and this is January 4th, 2020. Starting off the brand new year. And here at Linux Install Fest, as at most install fests, we have some people here with their computers trying to build them together and install Linux on them. So I thought I'd just go over and look at the different equipment that people have and the different things that they're trying to do. And Patrick, do you want want to tell us what your special project is for today um, here? Um, what I've got is three monitors and one, two, three, six, seven computers okay. that were donated so that I can rebuild them and make them run with the Linux system. And then I give them to churches and individuals who are not able to spend eight hundred, nine hundred dollars for a computer. And uh, I build up a system, and it's perfectly um, good for a church or a ministry or a student to do um, accounting and finance and, uh, you know, office products. If we get them a printer or if they can find a printer, they can plug it right in. Linux instantly recognizes it, and then they can print letters and, and business papers or their uh, expense account. Now I hear so, some printers work better with Linux than others, like uh, HP and uh, Brother? Um, yes, but uh, the printer application that's built into the Linux kernel uh -huh. is perfect for all the printers made in the world today. Mm. That's why Microsoft in Microsoft Windows 10 has incorporated the Linux kernel into Windows 10 so that it has all the drivers for almost any product you're going to hook up to your computer. And that's with the new kernel, I think it's version 4.10? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate that. Now, we want and we anticipate and we hope the first Saturday of every month, individuals who have a computer they think is broken, Bring it into us, either donate it or let it me rebuild it for them so they can take it home with Linux operating system, which they will be amazed at its simplicity, its strength, and zero viruses. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay. You also want to keep in mind that if you do bring your computer, at the very least, you should bring the system box and the uh, keyboard, mouse, and the screen at the very least. And if you do have any Linux CDs, bring them as well. But usually, we usually have our own CDs that we can help install. And then we have some other members over here that uh, have Linux projects that are going on. This right here is my computer and I'm just in here doing whatever I'm not really doing anything with any purpose and then we have this other device here from my uh, our member Steve and he's working on his uh, network clock okay a network clock and you're doing that with your Pi right on a GPS hat on a GPS hat well that's his Pi and everything is running from your Raspberry Pi, correct? Yep. Okay. And what other? What was that other project you were working on? Which one? The one with you, where you can use your Pi as a hotspot. Oh uh, well, that, the whole point of that is so the things on the network can talk to it to get the clock right. Right. Okay. I'm using network time protocol. NTP to, to put the clock on the network. Okay. And so you can synchronize other computers' clocks to the GPS. All right. All right, well, that seems like a really good uh, project. And then you've got your, your different uh, devices here that you made with your 3D printer. Yeah. You didn't bring that today. No. Okay. All right, well, that's good, though. Well, good luck on your device and your project. Thanks for looking at this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Please like and subscribe, and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.